here is a way that I designed the barn that we're going to be building. So this is a Kentucky Steel. This is their website. This is who I bought my building through. So I'm going to show you how uh, you can use this to design. I'll explain a couple of the things uh, how to use this. You can watch this short little video and uh, hopefully it helps you with your barn. If not, it'll kind of describe uh, the way that I chose to build mine. So let's get started. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll answer them. If you don't mind, uh, hit the uh, like and subscribe and follow our barn build in uh, over the course of the next few months. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to get started. Okay, so if you follow my mouse over here, the width that I went with is a uh, 40 by 60. You could type it in also. All right, um, the length is 60, the height is 24, you'll see here in uh, just a little bit why we have to go that tall on the walls. Uh, the roof rise, this is, you can go as low as a 212, we are going with a 412. All right, and then this snow load, what this is, is this is the amount of columns that they use. Now, this is a steel truss uh, building. Uh, it's not a traditional wood pole barn. It's not the steel truss with the wood posts. It's all steel. Uh, here's how I'll show you this snow load, the 20. You can do 20, 30, or 40. We're going with the 30 because we're on a kind of a hill where there's high winds. Uh, in the county that I live in, northern Kentucky, we are able to go with the 20, uh, but I decided to go with the 30. I'll show you what the difference is. So right now it's on 20. You can see these columns here. There's four columns. We chose to go with a 30. Let me... Uh, okay, now there's five columns. One, two, three, four, five. And basically on this building... Uh, there will be a it'll be 15 feet in between columns if you do the 20 I believe it makes them 20 feet um, so it'd be 20 uh, yeah it'd be 20 40 and 60 so on this build that we're going with we're going with the 30 I'll kind of show you that so there's five columns that's 15 feet now if I would have went with the 40, that would have made it 12 feet. And one of the reasons why I considered it is we're going to put plywood up on, along the interior later on down the road. I wouldn't have had to cut any plywood. There would have been 12 feet, which would be uh, three pieces of plywood. But uh, it was it wasn't substantially more money, but it was it was more than I wanted to spend for something that was unnecessary we're borderline unnecessarily on the 30 uh, so uh, the 412 pitch right here you can kind of see the difference if we did a 212 what that would do we decided to go with the 412 um, kind of just for the looks of it uh, and you'll see as we get a little bit farther so we got that now what we're going to do i'm going to put the walls back on okay uh, this is not the color we're going with but this is kind of the um what the website default colors are all right so we're not worried about the colors right now we can do that later um, you can under this right here it's building extensions what this is, is this is this right here on the side of the building if you look down there right here it's a foot overhang and you can put the foot overhang uh, on this side also you can go more uh, we're not doing that we're, I really don't see a reason to uh, now uh, here's what we can do next we're gonna go down here to windows and doors 
add an overhead door. Like that. Add another one. Now what you can do, click on it, and you can put in your sizes. We are doing, on this door, a 16 wide, I think by 12 tall. I'll have to look back at the prints that they did for us. This one we're doing a 16 wide by 14 tall, like that. They'll be away from the walls. The reason you need them to be away from the walls, not necessarily on this one, because the wall is so tall, but one of the things, if you're setting doors and it's not so tall, what you need to do is you can uh, see this truss right here. You got to make sure your door is going to be able to clear that if the wall, if it's shorter. I'll kind of show you. See what I mean there? Like this door right now wouldn't work because it's colliding. So you can kind of play with your, you can't put it all the way up against the wall because you have those, those trusses. But in my case, we are going so tall, doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it, I guess it does matter, but uh, it, it, you do have to be away from the edge. Okay, so let's put the walls back on. That's a, up here you make the metal go away by clicking this. Um, I am putting a door, um, a walkthrough. Uh, door. It'll be right in here somewhere. We're going to put another one. It'll be right in here somewhere. Um, I am putting a door here. This will be a twelve by twelve. All right. Put another one. This is going to be. 12 by 12. Okay. It'll be somewhere in there, like that. Wherever they are, they'll end up being right across from each other. One way you can tell, this minus 21, minus 5. Go over to your other side. You would do, uh, you do that. 21, 5. Now they're directly apart from each other. Let's update. I can. Uh, one of the things you can do with this is you can go inside. So I don't know where these will end up being, but once the builder comes, we'll figure that out. So that's going to go like that. Turn around. Here's my other doors. Now these posts won't be right in the middle of the door. Obviously, they'll build headers around these doors and make it all work right. What I'll probably do is I'll center these from the center. I'll, from this post here, I'll make it the same distance with leaving room to clear these. I'm, um, when I get this built, the builder's not supplying the garage doors. I'm going to have a uh, more local person supply them. They were a little bit cheaper. I'm going to try and make these doors go straight up and not curve till they get closer to the top of the ceiling. Uh, instead of having the track hanging all the way down here because this tall door is 14 feet tall so it'll come almost uh, to to this joist if I were to fold it but I'm gonna have it raise up and then start curving up in this area same with this one um, these doors uh, they're 12 by 12 it'll be the same deal I'm gonna try to have them make the track follow the ceiling like you know at a 45 or whatever Either that or curve it once it's way up high. I don't want the door bending, um, you know, flush out here. Uh, we have future plans for this area. Um, so, one of the things you can do inside is, let's close this menu. Uh, they have a mezzanine section. I'm not having them build one. We are going to build a mezzanine. What you can do is kind of for an idea can do that that's not what we're gonna build it'll but it'll be this last bay uh, eventually we'll put a uh, a small office up here and then storage 
Uh, maybe a bathroom. Haven't decided yet. Let's take that away, because that kind of... Okay, now, let's go back outside. Now, this is... Here is why we are... It is so tall. What we're doing is... Uh, turn that on. We will have... We're going to have a 35-foot lean-to on this. Close that off. Shut that. Let's do doors now. Okay. Add an overhead door. Scoot it over here. Add another one. Scoot it over here. That's there's a door there. Okay. That door actually is not gonna be right there. It's gonna be uh, over here. So let's take that away. So we'll delete that. All right, now, these are going to be 14 by 14. Uh, there we go. 14 by 14. Okay. Um, what we can do is hide walls. Now, basically what this is is like half a building it'll have the same style truss that this is right here but it would be uh, it would go right here so in all actuality this door needs to is going to be like all the way over that way this one's going to be like right there to clear this corner up in here this was the uh, the only way that we could make this work now the reason that I'm building it like this instead of making a 75 by 60 barn it's actually, uh, it was like $1,500 cheaper to just do one great big open barn. The reason that we're doing this is um, to save on the insulation. I don't need this lean-to insulated. I just need this area insulated. So the barn itself was cheaper to make it one great big truss that spanned this whole thing. Um but the amount of insulation to insulate this lean-to, I don't need all my storage. Um, I don't need that insulated. I plan on heating and cooling this shop area uh, down the road. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So let's put the walls back on and we can kind of show you. Now this garage door right here, that's not where it's going either. Um, but, you know, this, obviously it's not perfect world. This is but this is the best that uh, I could come up with. So this is kind of uh, just a short little video um, to kind of give you an idea of what our building is going to look like um, once we start getting built. Uh, today is Saturday, January 9th. Uh, we put the deposit down like two weeks ago, I think. Uh, it was the week be between Christmas and New Year's of 2020. Uh, we put our deposit down. Um, we have made a few changes since then, uh, but obviously till they start manufacturing it, we can change all we want. Once they build the trusses and all that stuff, then we're, uh, we're committed. Now one of the things, the colors and all that stuff, uh, you know, you can change. Um, you can put Wayne's coating up all the way around if you click over here. Uh, the roof that we're going with, I think we chose Quaker Gray roof. We chose the clay walls, and we did the, I think we did the Quaker Gray wings coating. When I get my doors, the trim, I believe, is all the Quaker Gray stuff. And when I buy my doors, I'm going to either get light gray or try to match this Quaker Gray. I, I don't think I'll be able to match it. Exactly, so I'll probably do a totally different color so it doesn't look stupid. But um, if you have any questions, I appreciate it. Now, one thing I can tell you, I am not going to discuss any prices uh, because um, prices change. So I'm not going to be putting prices out um, on the building. Steel prices go up and down and all that. Um, you know, I don't have Kentucky Steel's permission to even be making this video. So I'm not going to be discussing prices. I don't want 
anyone calling them and, uh, you know, giving them problems and all that stuff. But that's pretty much it. Uh, give me a like, and uh, if you don't mind subscribing, I'm going to put all these barn videos in their own playlist on my uh, channel. So uh, you guys take it easy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.